On the first Sunday in October, United Methodist congregations join many Christian churches across the globe in celebrating World Communion Sunday. World Communion Sunday began at Shadyside Presbyterian Church in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in 1933. The Reverend Hugh Thompson Kerr and his congregation sought to demonstrate the interconnectedness of Christian churches regardless of denomination. Reverend Kerr appropriately chose the Sacrament of Holy Communion to symbolize this unity. In 1940, the Federal Council of Churches of Christ in America, which included all of the predecessor denominations of the United Methodist Church, adopted Worldwide Communion Sunday. United Methodists believe in an open table. Anyone may receive communion. Our Book of Worship says, all who intend to lead a Christian life, together with their children, are invited to receive the bread and cup. Offerings collected in United Methodist Churches on World Communion Sunday go to fund scholarships for young scholars and seminarians and to equip racial and ethnic minority students. <laughs>